Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. We have discussed a lot of VLSI related topics already and in previous video we have seen introduction to routing and now let us understand concepts of routing. We have seen in our previous video that how routing stack is created. We have seen that these blue colored ones are the standard cells and this is our routing stack above it. And then there will be a routing stack which is very high and that can be above macro and common to the standard cell also. On top of that, there will be perpendicular routing stack. This is the 3D view of the floor plan that we have seen and when we have taken the example also. This is one more example that you are seeing on the right side. And then now this is all we have already seen. Now in this video, we have to understand about routing concepts, basic routing concepts, such as what is the importance of routing as the technology shrinks. So in other words, why routing is critical with the shrinking technology node. And this is the CMOS. So in CMOS, we have to understand what is meant by technology shrinking. Now as the technology shrinks, that time we have already seen in one of the previous video, but we are explaining here again that this is your channel and this channel length this will decrease. So when this decrease, that is the meaning of the technology node shrinking. So if you have a 16 nanometer technology, that means your distance or your channel length, channel length is your 16 nanometer. That is your gate length itself is 16 nanometer. So this is your length. And if you are shrinking the technology, then you are shrinking the gate. And that is why your gate delay will start to decrease and your device becomes faster. So basically, you can say that with your technology shrinking, what happens is your delay starts to decrease. And with your delay, decrease, delay starts to decrease, what happens at that time? Your interconnect will also be smaller. So interconnect area. We call it as interconnect area that is the connection between different metal layers and via a area, area of the via. So that will start to decrease. Interconnect area will be reducing. When your interconnect area reduces at that time what happens is your resistance will increase. So your resistance starts to increase in the interconnect area and then vertical height of the interconnect will also increase so that is because of the stacking because we want to in we, we want to reduce the resistance so in a, in order to do that we try to increase the interconnect layers and what happens is area component is now no longer dominating because it is now very small and lateral sidewall and fringing components. So these are the terms that are used. Maybe you do not want to understand that much, but at least this physical part you need to understand that what happens when your technology starts to shrink. So these are some of the things that you need to understand. Maybe you can understand with interconnect capacitance. So when you have a metal, you will obviously have a some capacitance. So your interconnect capacitance will be also there that is start there will be a huge mutual capacitance also that starts to come up in the shrinking technology nodes and your drc rules will also increase now you have to get some new drc rules and in fact sometimes what happens is when you go to the technology nodes as low as 5 nanometer or 7 nanometer that time you have to create new masks which are compatible with your double patterning so you need a mask which are compatible with double patterning so double patterning means you will not create metal layer mask simply m1 m2 m3 m4 like that the masks will be of alternate layers so you will have m1 and m3 together m2 m5 together like that so it it is something like this you have to create masks but normally what happens is you will have a single mask containing normally the layers but we are splitting now masks in two sets maybe something something like horizontal layer separate and vertical layer separate so this is part of your double patterning with the 
shrinking technology node some of you might be wondering that why this concept is included here so the reason is that it has been very commonly asked in the interviews so we thought of touching upon it but this is also very important as a part of at least theoretical understanding and then now let us see what are routing objectives or what are the goals of routing many a times in the interview this is asked that what are the goals of the routing but not in the direct fashion that what are the goals of the routing sometimes asked in a, in a different fashion that what are you trying to achieve by doing the routing it is not just a physical connection that you make between the two nets but it is actually what uh, there are some requirements or you can say what are the objectives of the routing so what are we trying to achieve is first thing is we are trying to achieve the skew so we need to see that skew requirements are met your skew is within the control clock skew is in the control and when you are doing the routing you have to make sure that your open and shorts are not there the design is clean from it ideally speaking it will not happen and design will not be clean you have to manually fix some of the things and there will be a separate team called physical verification team physical verification or in some areas it is also called as layout verification because they will be cleaning up your layout from the drc so the open and the shorts are type of the drc you need to make sure that these are under control or at least clean then routing paths should be meeting the setup and hold so this is also we need to see that what are the routed paths your setup and hold that is your timing should be met if not met then at least under the control and you are in the confidence that you can meet it then next thing that we are trying to achieve is so this is very similar to what we are trying to achieve after the post cts similarly in the routing also we need to make sure that your drcs timing drcs timing drcs what are we the timing drcs that we have already discussed mainly cap and tran capacitance and transition both for data and clock both cases we have to see that it is under control for both cases so this we have to achieve in the routing stage by doing the routing you are actually drawing the metal traces so after metal traces you have made you need to make sure that your physical drcs are also under control physical drcs are also under control now what are the physical drcs so for example we can give you here so let's say that you can have a min spacing requirement between two metals that met at least minimum this much spacing should be met and minimum width of the metal for each layer there is certain rule for minimum width of each layer so that rule should be met and you should not make a very thin net just like that and then there is a min area requirement similarly there are lacks of rules which tool will try to follow while doing the routing now there can be a question that how tool does the routing or what is the routing algorithm or what are the stages of the routing so we will try to discuss this routing stages in the next video that is all for this video please do like share subscribe to the channel and do give your important feedback in the comment section thank you